Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we have a question from uh, Bob Gowell. And he said, Hey, Dan, I have a question for you. Sample workbook. Uh, well, he has a sample form anyway. If he changes the below line of code from y equals application dot match, and then he's trying to match this cell in this range, blah, 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 to, app, to y equals application dot worksheet function dot match instead of application dot match so apparently uh, match is uh, native to VBA I didn't know that but yes you can do application dot match or you can just do match um, or you can use worksheet function dot match but he's saying whenever he changes it to using the worksheet function uh, dot match it is giving him some trouble whenever there isn't an exact match and we're going to go over that very quickly so it says it'll fail and it'll give the error uh, unable to get the match property of the worksheet class or worksheet function class can you kindly let me know why so Bob yes I will show you right now here's your workbook right here and by the way I, I uh, you did a great job setting this up so anyway I'm gonna hit alt F11 I just did that I'm in the visual basics editor so he is declaring uh, sheet one as a worksheet and saying that it's the sheet called all and then he's doing the same with sheet 2 and sheet 3. Z equals 2, that's your starting row for the what do I have or what I don't have. So he's saying here's all of the products and the prices, right? A through S. And then here's um, what he's currently has, let's say in stock, and then or something like that. And then what he doesn't have, he basically wants it to take the A and the R and the S and ignore them off of the master list. So he wants his other sheet to be filled with B, C, D, E, all the way, um, just not having R or S or uh, A, because that's what he doesn't have right here. So when he runs this code, it uh, it says unable to get the match property. So let's let's uh, let's move through that and see what we need to do there. First of all, I'm going to do a little bit of indenting just to clean clean up here. We have a four x is something and a next x so everything within that I'm going to select and hit tab and then also we have an if then so if blah 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 then and then an end if just like HTML tags you have a starting and an ending place so I'm gonna indent all the stuff within the if then statement here now we're ready to go so hit F8 with me declaring the worksheets Z equals 2 LR1 is the last row for that one sheet, the master sheet, 20. And then there's only four in the uh, sheet that he already has. So X is going to be equal to 2 all the way to 20. So hit F8. So X is 2 at first. So here's what he started out with. Y equals application.match. And if you've seen the match function, if you haven't seen it, go to Excel is Fun's website or his channel. He's uh, Mike Gervin. He's awesome. So he'll teach you how to, to use that. The match function is actually uh, pretty awesome because what it does is it it's kind of like VLOOKUP. It will find out where um, in a sequence of rows uh, your the thing that you're looking for is. So in this case, um, this particular cell we're referencing you can see that the value is a and we're looking it up on sheet 2 all the way in every every cell in in uh, the column a a through a so let's just take a look at that so if you've got all of a what index would be uh, if they f were looking for the letter a it would be 1 2 so a match would return 2 it found a in column two. So goody gum drops. So and then uh, I think that the last thing behind the comma is maybe you're starting starting something rather. Okay, so I'm gonna hit F8 and we'll see what happens. Okay, so Y equals two. So they found a match for the letter A. That's fine. Um, and here's the application dot worksheet function dot match and pretty much the same criteria here. Okey So um, when he hits F8, uh, it works just fine right there. So everything looks good to Excel, okay? Because they did 
find letter A. Now, we get in trouble whenever we use uh, the the worksheet function version versus the VBA version um, in a moment. So let's see. Um, so we're going to skip that one because that is y is a number. Now, if it becomes an error and it's basically not a number, that's when we're going to copy it to our what I don't have sheet. So, okay, hitting F8. So now we're on row 2, or row 3, excuse me. So y equals application dot blah blah blah. So we're looking up the letter B, okay? And do you see the letter B right there? No. So in VBA, it's just going to say error 2042. It's not going to say another word about it. It's going to be very polite, okay? And uh, I'm going to zoom ahead and show you what it does. Now let's click on this sheet here. It says if not application. So if, is that a number? No, it's error 2042. So because that's met those conditions, uh, it does this copying thing to the destination which is right there and then Z is now equal to the next row which will be 3 in a second so they're B and 34 okay but um, okay but what I wanted to show you let's go back up here see this one just said error 2042 but what if you have a worksheet function dot match instead of just a VBA's match well, let's see so hit F8 oh my it says runtime error 1004 unable to get the match property so this is what he was talking about so rather than clicking end we're gonna click debug we're gonna get right back in it and see what we can do to fix this so here's what I propose if you are trying to produce an error because you are wanting basically you're saying if this is if it's a number then skip it but if it's an error uh, then copy over here. So if there's if there's no lookup really found, it doesn't find the letter B in that range, then copy all this junk. So if that's what you're trying to do, and you really are gung ho about using a worksheet function, let's say there isn't a um, an, a VBA native function, then here's what you do. It's very simple. Right here, just say on error, resume next. So if you get an error, instead of getting this message, it will keep on going. So let's run that here. On error, resume next. So we're starting over basically. Um, yeah. So we do the first one. That works just fine. Now, look, here's the second one. I'm going to erase this because we're starting over. Okay. So y equals application blah, 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 blah. Now hit F8. And, uh, uh, well, y is still equal to 2. Okay, so I guess you need to clear out uh, y every time. If this is the road that you're wanting to take and you're gung ho about using the worksheet function, I would say y is equal to empty. y is empty, basically. So each time y is empty. That way it's not a number from the last time. So if it's is this a number? Is is empty a number? No, it's not. So it's going to copy that one. Okay. So yes, that's kind of what we were shooting for there. So y is empty. Blah blah blah. Uh, let's see here. Oh well, that causes problems too, doesn't it? Oh no, that's no, that's correct. It's going to copy. It's supposed to copy all these, except for R and S or S and T or something like that. So I'll hit F5, see what happens. So do you see that uh, it didn't have R and it didn't have S and it didn't have A? A R S is missing. So let's do that one more time just for good measure. Click to run. So yeah, um, it works. So that's what I would say. Use on error, resume next. Basically, you're telling Excel. If you see an error, just keep on trucking, forget it, ignore it, that kind of thing. So, um, those are the steps that I would advise, Bob, and I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless.